Chang, and this is Bryn Jirzera, uh, and I will be your host for this first edition of the New Stage uh, Young Artists Showcase. Um, thank you all for coming and supporting local artists. They're going to give you a great show tonight. This show was created by local producer and recording engineer Kiki Chang, and it is designed to give a venue for local youth to display their talents from music to dance to any performance art. To kick off the season, we have a special two-hour show featuring four bands, all from Palo Alto and Los Angeles. These bands will all have all performed around the Bay Area, and several have placed first or second in recent Palo Alto, in recent Battle of the Bands contests in San Francisco and Palo Alto. So they have already proven themselves. Yeet. Today, they get to play full sets of their largely original material uh, to you all, a live studio audience. Without further ado, let me introduce uh, the first band. Thank you, Tenzin. Great job. Fake Moon is a collaboration between Tony Lowe, who's on piano and synth, Emily Debs, vocals and guitar, and Ethan Ozier on drums. All sophomores in high school, and also they all play multiple instruments. Originally formed in 2017 by Emily and Tony, Fake Moon currently play a mixture of indie rock and dream pop. They do covers and originals. They have influences from bands like The 1975 and Mac DeMarco. They've performed on stage at events and open mics around the Bay Area <coughs> excuse me, for various audiences, and they really are going to entertain you. Please welcome Fake Moon.
Next one is an original one called The Dance.
and it's an original too, it's called Too Lit.
So your guys' name is Fake Moon. Uh, what does that name come from? Um, I think it came from our fascination with the moon, just like everything it does for the Earth. Uh, we thought it was pretty cool, um, and we needed an adjective, so we found fake. And um, that's about the whole story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the moon's pretty cool. <laughs> um, uh, so um, where do you guys meet? Uh, what inspired you guys to uh, make music together? So Tony and I met in high school when we were freshmen, so last year. Um, and Ethan and I went to elementary and middle school together. Um, and so when we were all freshmen, I think we all really wanted to be in a band. And um, I knew that they were really talented, so it was really, really nice to be able to get together and play. Uh, yeah, so uh, what um, bands or musicians do you guys take uh, inspiration from? I saw some uh, Boy Pablo, other stuff. Yeah, so I listen a lot to music, like a lot. Um, so I definitely kind of grew up thinking like I want to have a band where I can have all these influences come together. Um, I think the first band that got me into creating a band was in 1975. Um, and just their mix of genres was really interesting to me. And um, they also signed a band, um, Pale Waves, who were very similar to them um, in the way they had their genres laid out. Um, but I think seeing Heather Baron Gracie, who's the lead woman, um, she really inspired me to like be able to get on the stage and get my own band together. Um, and then I also get some influences from like um, indie pop, just kind of chill music. So like Mac the Marco, like we said, um, yeah. Uh, how many pairs of shoes do you own? <laughs> That's a really good question. Um, Probably like 10, I don't know. I don't really count that on the daily, but it's a good question. All right. Yeah, cool. Uh, um, all right, thank you so much, Fake Moon. Uh, next band is Seneca. Thanks, Tenson, thanks, Emily, and thanks, Fake Moon, once again. Seneca were formed in October of 2017. They comprise of Matthew Baum on guitars, Arjun, get ready for this, Shri Vastava, hopefully I said it right, Colin Yeager on bass, and Simon Burdick on drums. In their first competition at the Palo Alto JCC Battle of the Bands, they took home first place, which was amazing. Seneca are influenced by bands such as, indeed, Chon, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Animals as Leaders, and Polyphia. Hopefully I said that correct as well. Look it up in the Oxford Dictionary of Quotations and let me know. Matthew is a really stunning guitarist. So is Arjun. They really blew everybody away at the Battle of the Bands, and I think you are all going to be thoroughly impressed with them. And hopefully, when they get their EP out, we'll all be able to buy it. Let's get ready to rumble!
Thank you. So we're a band called Seneca, and we're writing an EP right now. Um, this is Arjun, Colin, I'm Matthew, and that's uh, Simon. And uh, this song is called Ampersand.
Thank you. All right, um, if you guys haven't followed our Instagram, uh, you should probably do that. It's uh, S-Y-N-I-C-A underscore official, Seneca official. Um, this song is called Inertia, but uh, what's the tune for it? Great job. Let's hear it for Seneca one more time. Matthew, come over and join me for a minute. Great job, man. You good? Okay, so backstage I heard quite a discussion going on about guitar picks, and you were all comparing sizes. Do you want to elaborate on that? Um, so basically I use a point six. well, I used to, and like for some reason that's like really like thin or something. Um, so this time I played with a 1.3 um, millimeter pick, and it's a lot different from playing with a 0.6. Yeah. And what does that difference make? Um, makes it like easier to like just pick through strings more. It doesn't really like bend. So. Excellent. Um, a very important question: How many pairs of shoes do you own? Three. Three? 
Okay. So, um, if there was a performer, a band out there that you had the chance to actually get on stage with, who would it be and why? Um, I think like Necrophagus, because they're just like really cool and like they can shred. Awesome. And what about um, somebody from back in the day who inspired you to, you know, take up the guitar and really get going? Is there somebody, like, say, from my generation? Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, John Frusciante. Cool. Yeah. He's taught me how to play with confidence. Um, I hear a lot of guitar players, especially beginners, who are, like, really not confident with their picking, and it just makes it sound flimsy. So learning from someone like that, at least from YouTube videos and stuff, it makes you be able to just play a lot better. That's great. That's inspirational. Now, when it comes to lyrics, you're working on lyrics now for your, for your songs? No. Okay. Scratch that question, folks. I'll be on the 740 plane back to London. Don't give up the day job. And so could you describe briefly just how the making the music process works for you guys? How, how often do you get together to practice? What's the, the deal? You know, is it prearranged? Is it just on the fly? Uh, most of my music ideas are just like when I'm noodling around, I'm not really thinking about stuff. When you like really force creativity, it doesn't really come out that well. Um, we try and get together at least like a couple times a month. Depends. Like right now it's like finals. It's pretty stressful. Schoolwork. Really? You don't say. Yeah, it's schoolwork is my priority right now. <laughs> don't blame you. So it looks as though mess are getting ready to uh, hone in their action. So I'm going to hand it over to my partner in crime, Tenzin. Yo, what is up? Uh, our next band has also competed in the Battle of the Bands at the JCC in San Francisco. They claimed the uh, second place prize trophy. Uh, it was lit. Y'all should have been there, but it's okay. Um, one more thing. Uh, this coming Monday at noon, they will be on KPOO Radio uh, as guests of DJ Marilyn Honors Show. It is on FM 89.5. Mess was formed in, in December of 2015 and has Zachary Chang Otanius on the drums. We got Colin Yeager on the bass, Nick Ferguson on guitar, and Greg Gochnev on vocals. This is also the final performance by Mess for the foreseeable future as Greg will be moving to Australia. So please enjoy Mess. Thank you. Uh, I suggest wear earplugs for everyone. This first song is called Killer's Execution. Oh, 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 oh,
Thank you. I'm on the side, 
Never see a man yet I'm on the side Never see a man yet I'm on the side We're not done. We're not done, guys. All right. This next song is uh, called Without Life. Fun fact about this song is that all the lyrics are written in Russian. Yeah? What? All the lyrics are written in Russian. Guys, guys. All good? All right, well, hit it, boys. Get me down the boy. 
First of all, I wanted to thank 
All the bands that played here so far, Fake Moon and Seneca, you guys were sick. Awesome people, awesome players, just amazing musicians. Stay tuned for Mentally Wasted. <laughs> yeah. All right, this next song is called Precious Corruption. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out. Unfortunately, this might be Greg's last concert here in America. So can I hear like, Greg! Ah! Whoa! 
Thanks, Nick. Thank you, everybody. This man right here, the great, fucking amazing guitar player. Same with Colin, awesome musician, fucking best bassist. Zach Chang, I, I, I have no words for Jack. Zach Chang is the best. Zach Chang, Zach Chang. Also, a more important message, message, I lost my pick. So if anybody has an extra pick, that would be awesome. Yeah, please donate a pick. Oh, thank you. All right, well, unfortunately, this is going to be our last song. Guys, Lo, calm down. All right, this is unfortunately our last song. This song is called Red Sea. I got to tune down a little bit. Thank you so much. All right, uh, is there any way you could stay? Uh, I'll come back. Hell yeah, Greg. All right. All right, that's awesome. Uh, all right, thank you so much. Uh, do you have anything to say about uh, how to do that thing that you do with your voice where you like scream but like you're not hurting yourself? Yeah, well, uh, you, have to, you have to be very careful with that. And you have to watch a lot of Melissa Cross videos and other people who can do it really well without losing their voice. So, like, look at your favorite artist, like, I don't know, like, um, Phil Bozeman from Whitechapel or something like that, and see how he does it throughout, like, his shows without losing his voice. And then, like, you kind of try to, well, Melissa Cross will explain how to do it, but then the stage movements and, like, the, the way you posture yourself is, yeah, that's, you can find that through your vocalists. And you know it's a good vocalist if he doesn't lose his voice throughout the show. Doesn't doesn't lo lose his voice throughout his music career. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, it's actually very very hard to do. And uh, yeah, Greg, you're very talented. Thank you so much. Uh, this is um, Mentally Wasted. Uh, it was formed by. Yeah. Mentally Wasted was formed by Theo Limjizra. Uh, on guitar, Zachary Chang Otanius on bass, and me, uh, Tenzin, in the fall of 2013. Uh, after achieving international stardom, it's lit, with their videos for Oh Crap and School Sucks, they released their first album and in 2015, Sweet and Sour. Tenzin, me, uh, I left thereafter to pursue a career in uh, solo uh, playing the kazoo. Uh, and Charlotte Lamb joined the band for
forming the trio you see today. They have played extensively around the Bay Area, almost most recently on the streets of Los Altos for delighted octogenarians. They will be performing new songs tonight off their forthcoming album due in June. If their producer ever actually finishes mixing it. Please welcome Manly Wasted! Yay! He's pretty good at Kazoo, actually. You should check it out. Are right, you ready?
Thank you. We're mentally wasted. Thank you all so much for coming out. Whether you're for Fake Moon, Seneca, Mess, or Us, we love you all. Um, this next song is a song that I wrote with the company of my friends. And it's a song that just has the right amount of mentally wasted energy that you've all come to expect and love. <laughs> Shadow, but everything's all right. Working in the study hall, everyone's talking, and I am never sure, never sure. Judging me constantly Every word that I say Every confession that I make But you don't care No, no It's five o'clock It's cold and growing dark A misery of mine Becomes a whole new friend of mine Oh, yeah But I can't Again, I thank you guys a lot for coming here. I know it's finals week and a lot of kids are packed with homework, but yet they somehow made time to come. I uh, very much appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Lo. <laughs> Also, we have written a lot of songs in different kinds of tuning, so as a result, we have to do this live. We don't have roadies to like hand us pre-tuned guitars, so I apologize. <laughs> All right, this is a song that Zach wrote that we sometimes have difficulty playing, but we all love this song. It's called Not Enough. <laughs>
fall asleep My thoughts are getting out of line It's really bad this time I'm becoming afraid of my own brain It's just too much pain I put out my window my start doing its job This is the end of my life If there was a life My eyes are dry, I'm going blind Can't rest my mind And I hear birds out my window Mine's not doing its job Sorry for the difficulties, everyone. All right, this is another song that Zach wrote. It's called Lost in Thought.
off of sound and consistency. <laughs> Greg Kolschniff, if I pronounced that right, please come onto the stage. Even if I didn't pronounce that right, still, please, c please come on the stage. Is it tuned? Double check, double check. This is a song, while, well, while Greg is tuning, I'll talk. This is a song I wrote about my experience in hell. It's called You're Gone. Alright, are we ready? Yeah. 
Let's rip this thing. So tell, cause a little ain't enough I wanna say why things are so bad But even I can't escape the war inside my head The war inside my head I try to stop and get a hold of myself I gotta figure my road out of hell And just like that it all gone and just like that, you're gone. You're gone. People stop and people say they get a good look. But when your time comes, you'll get what you deserve. You need to leave and get a fucking grip. Cause you don't know when karma will come again. No! And get a hold of myself I've got to figure my run out of hell And just like that you're gone And just like that you're gone Thank you. Please don't break. Hey, if anyone here has cheap drumsticks that they're willing to like maybe get broken, then please give them up. I broke all my drumsticks while playing in mess. <laughs> yeah, this is a pencil. This is emergency. <laughs> no, I have it. Hey. Hey. Oh, John's yeah. crazy. Give me an E. High E. High E. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Damn it. I think you're still out of tune, Theo. <laughs> what the hell? Sorry, again, um, the cons of having songs that are in different tuning is like, you have to tune it on stage. But the pros is that you get a bunch of different kind of sounds, so, you know, that's great. <laughs> Oh, 
I was dead. I'm sorry to my mother and I'm sorry to my brother. I'm a father because I was troubled and I wish I was another. Charlotte and I are going to switch instruments for a song that she wrote called Ice Cold Figures. Again, I'd like to point out Greg. I'd like to thank him for being our second guitarist here. Shout out to Greg.
Excuse me while I clear my hair and stop having a panic attack. Tell myself I have a purpose So I wake up feeling fine I go through my day but nothing changes Cannot see what's really there Find people who know the truth They won't tell you Just inside deep frost, eyes cold figures wake All right, uh, thanks so much to uh, everyone, the uh, volunteers, Kiki for organizing all of this. We're not done yet. Oh, okay, thank you though. <laughs> we have a favorite to play next. All right, I'll just keep this. 
Uh, yeah, the song is off our first album. Uh, my brother originally played it on the drum, so I'm going to try my best to play it how he did. Um, I, I feel as if uh, the song is dedicated to my brother. Are you ready? No, I said Lisa. It wouldn't be us, you know? I put you on a pig and stick in front of me A lonely bus is so like it's around in me When the girl you get me, I'll be on my knees. Girl, don't get me, I'll be on my knees. Oh Lord, forgive me, please. Oh Lord, forgive me, please. Gotta quit. I'm ahead of the game. I gotta quit. I hang my head in shame. Oh crap. Oh crap. It should be mentioned that uh, right here by Charlotte, here is a representation of Hawaii's Kilo Kilauea volcano. All right, let's do this.
Thank you. All right. Since we're doing the full set, we got we got time for one last song. This I want to see everybody in the audience get the fuck up. Yeah. yeah. Watch your language, Theo. Jesus.
Uh, hey, uh, thank you guys all so much for coming. Uh, no more songs, so uh, that's, that, that's it. Thank you to all the volunteers that did the cameras, the lighting, the sound. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you to all the artists. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And most of all, thank you to you for supporting, for coming out, and really, really encouraging these teens. Spread the word. If there's any artists out there, whether it's dancers, singers, whatever, have them contact Kiki. He's the man. He's behind it all. Special thank you to Kiki as well. He is master of all trades, producer extraordinaire, sound man, pretty decent cook by all accounts as well. And stick a broom in his hands and he will clean the floor for you. You've got to be English to think about that one. But again, thank you, thank you, thank you. You were all wonderful. Every single one of you. Great job. Thank you. Elvis has left the building. Oh, bands, you got to stick around. You've got work to do. Ladies, camera ladies, cameraman. Thank you for putting up with us. 10 great job MCing.